What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Lego Star Wars Holiday Special. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. It has been more than four decades now since that cheesy, laughable Star Wars holiday special. So, how is this new one that has Lego incorporated into it? Well, my answer to that is, it's significantly bearable by comparison, I tell you that much. But remember how John Boyega said that his Star Wars movies only gave substantive story arcs to Daisy and Adam, but not to the people of color cast members like him, Kelly Marie Tran, and Oscar Isaac. Guess what? The same thing happens here on LEGO Star Wars Holiday Special. It's like they never learn from their lesson. It's insane. Ray gets all the juicy nuances, while Poe, Finn, and Rose get shoved into the background, stuck with the task of decorating the Millennium Falcon, entertaining Chewie's family, and doing bumbling comedy, bickering on topics we could not care less about. It cracks me up, but it's also sad that this franchise does not know what to do with its POC characters. Written by David Shane and directed by Ken Cunningham, Directly following the events of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, Rey leaves her friends to prepare for Life Day as she sets off on a new adventure with BB-8 to gain a deeper knowledge of the Force. At a mysterious Jedi temple, she is hurled into a cross-timeline adventure through beloved moments in Star Wars cinematic history coming into contact with Luke Skywalker Darth Vader, Yoda, Obi-Wan, and other iconic heroes and villains from all nine Skywalker saga films. But will she make it back in time for the Life Day Feast and learn the true meaning of holiday spirit? So Rey basically has a personal Jedi crisis, if you will. On this special, she feels inadequate to teach Finn. She goes off with BB-8 and finds this device that can open up a portal which allows her to literally cross paths with Star Wars icons of the past. So, if you are huge fans of Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader and Kylo Ren, well, you are in for a treat, my friends. Because those three will be in the same room together and they are an absolute laugh riot. So a big chunk of the special is just Ray messing with the space-time continuum, which causes the storylines and the characters to overlap. Hell, Ray even visits the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. It's all just fan service after fan service after fan service for what feels like an eternity until finally the nostalgia trip stops and the plot kicks into gear again. But unfortunately, it is as if screenwriter David Shane works backward from the conclusion, as opposed to construct a solid, sensible buildup that leads Ray's problem to the conclusion. I just don't think that the last half of this special is as impactful as they think it is. I also wish this special would do more with the Lego thing. With the exception of Ray's hair detaching from her body, there's just not enough Lego humor to keep the excitement afloat. And of course, Finn, Poe, and Rose are not supposed to help Ray because they have been relegated to even smaller roles than the ones on the big screen. So overall, yes, this is not as bad as the 1978 Star Wars Holiday Special, so that's the silver lining for you. But LEGO Star Wars Holiday Special? 
is full of its own blunders. But hey, at least the runtime is only 44 minutes short. So whether or not you're enjoying this special as you're watching it, be assured that in just 44 minutes, this will all soon be over.